Hi music freaks, uh, Mathieu here for another Bitwig tutorial. I wanted to talk about something that kind of disturbed me a bit uh, when uh, uh, the version 2 arrived and that was the way they reshaped the whole concept of uh, macros. It's kind of a byproduct of the modulation uh, system that is awesome but then um, Obviously, they had to to do something and to replace the the, the macros basically, uh, because ma macros are modulators uh, at the end of the day, and they are also in in the modulators. You can check my other video on all the modulators, so you will understand what I'm saying. They went away from the concept of eight knobs at the beginning. There is something now called the remote controls. And uh, I will just show you uh, what I'm talking about. So um, in an instrument track, I will just go for a Bitwig synth. I will take the poly synth, which is the flagship synth in Bitwig. And um, so when you press on the this macro symbol, those eight uh, thing, you see this. But if you click here, you see a whole list of them. Yeah. Actually, you have these are called pages. You you can make a new page, and you click on this Wi-Fi like symbol once, and then you go for a knob. Just click once. So this parameter is then going also there. It's on this page. So you can organize your page like they did here for policy. One page for oscillator one, one page for oscillator two, one page for the mix, and blah blah. Interesting enough, you can also right click allow nine slots, which makes sense for uh, organ drawbars, uh, for example, that come come in in nine. So um, these are the pages, and there is uh, uh, they are called device pages, and then you have the preset pages. The device pages are global, meaning every instance of the policy, whatever which preset. I'm going to show those pages inside. However, if you create a preset page up there, that's going to be called perform by default. These are preset based, so it's going to be per preset. You can change on every preset. So the perform page is uh, basically like a best of parameters. You yeah, know, it's, it's going to be the first page that's going to show up in your device. Anyway, the one you click is the one that is uh, featured at the beginning of the device. But if you didn't click anything, then it's going to be this one that's going to open first. However, the, these are not macros. Because you can assign only one button per slot. Uh, the, the definition of macros, if there was such a thing, would be... Um, knobs where you can assign several stuff in, uh, on them and the macros are now in the modulators so if you take any preset uh, uh, that is already in between like native presets they're gonna have every time two slots uh, with macro fours so you have your eight macros here actually if I open this, you see with the arrow, uh, you have your your four macros. So uh, I could say, okay, um, I want to map the first one to uh, different parameters, our beloved frequency and uh, resonance. And uh, for example, this one and this one and whatnot. So, and now uh, when you move this one, it's going to move all those guys together. They can also move in different direction, like in uh, macros you would know uh, from Ableton Live, for example. Um, so you set the amount of um, modulation by how far you move the mouse and in and also in which direction. Uh, and that's it. So these are the macros. Also, of course, you can re rename them too here uh, let's say blah 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 that's our blah blah macro right here oh sorry i press with my arm so the macros are actually here it's i know it's a bit frustrating for people who are 
like me, I was used to my eight slots here, and um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, it's life. Stuff are changing, and it's for the better because it's coming as a byproduct, as I say, from the the modular system. So let's open uh, another like a standard and a preset native preset from. Uh, oh no, it's not the right thing. It's here. I have to click up, and then presets. Boom. If I open the modulators, then you see boom. Our four macros here. Uh, eight macros. Two times macro four. So this is yeah. How, where the macros are hidden in in uh, in bitweek two. Um, so when you have them uh, hooked up already, and uh, if you have your controller like in the list here, if you, your controller is recognized, I have here the panorama as three lanes, but usually you have like here two of them. Um, then you have input, output, and uh, everything is fine. You have the script. Uh, because actually it's working th that way you need to have the oh let's go this way um if i say uh, add controller manually then you have you see all the scripts that are already installed in the um, in the software uh you could also uh, look for others on the website because uh, it's a community based uh, api for the script so uh, anybody can make a script basically and uh, submit it to the to the website and uh, so for any controller so it, it's pretty awesome actually um and uh, yeah you probably find yours and if not then you have the generic ones um with the eight devices and ups so i don't need to to set it up now because it's set up for me panorama is there so watch out now uh, that uh, we have the uh, macros set up. Frequency is the first one. The one called brighter. Whatever it is doing in the plugin. This is part of the preset. The sound designer uh, made the... This is really too loud here. The sound designer made the, the assignments so any rename also then on sets no i have to press here on set i don't know what on set is doing i don't see anything moving here oh it is it's the envelope uh, uh, generator on the and the filter no the filter is moving when my note is coming the sync well, the the shape of the second the sync oscillator, then another one controlling the sync. This the reverb on the seventh knob. And uh, the output. You always have the output on the eighth knob. You will most probably find the frequency um, as a first uh, the cutoff frequency as a first knob. On the top left, I mean, just imagine your controller like like th this guy, which uh, I could not get to work this time for some reason. Maybe it's broken. Um, th this one is going to be the cutoff frequency, and this one is going to be the volume, and in between, anything could be anything. So that's it for today. Don't forget to hit subscribe and uh, thumbs up Instagram, Facebook and whatnot. Please give me some uh, some feedback, comment and questions and everything in the in the comment section and uh, um, yeah, uh, see you for the next video. Peace out.